But she's mad, too. Well, why don't you move and you won't have to have October's boobies right in your face. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. In the last part, we went on vacation in Selvadorada. I know how to say it. October, go leave so that Daya can use the bathroom. October. <laughs> As you can see, when we came home, Mr. Marshmallow was sick from whatever uh, daycare, kennel, vacation, rental place that we put him in. I also built this little greenhouse that's sort of attached to the pool area. As you can see, we have almost no money left because I did this. I updated the pool area just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not, but that's how it is for right now. And I also, of course, went and put all of the stuff we collected right here. Oh no! Right here in our little room, and I think I really like it. I think the room's coming together, but we have so much more stuff we need to collect. I can't wait to go back on vacation already. Of course, Lorna is screaming her head off. We gave birth to her in the last part, and one of our children, which one is it? Is this James? No, this is Malcolm, is going around, and he's uh, just a destroying absolutely everything in our house. It's driving me absolutely mental. Look at this! Look! We also got a notification when we were on vacation that we need to... Who is this? Sarah? Where's Sarah? That Sarah's uh, physical connection to the world is uh, weakening. So we need to go ahead and correct that. We need to strengthen her connection to the physical world by praying to it, apparently. Grant, you're a vampire. You're up at night. What are you doing? Oh, you can suck on one of your plasma thingies, and then you can also help October repair all this junk around the house. No respect from these kids, huh, October? <laughs> she just loves her babies. <laughs> so in addition to strengthening Sarah from the physical world, to the physical world, excuse me, and to taking Mr. Marshmallow to the vet, it's also time for Toby to age up. His skills have been going mental. He's maxed out his skill in communication, movement, and potty, and that's basically, besides the potty one, that's basically just been from them being on vacation and him, I brought the, the Wabbit tablet or whatever, it's called with me and he's been doing nothing but playing on that the whole time we were there the whole three days so i mean he's going to be one of october's most developed children she's ever had and she's had like 30 of them at this point or just about okay so here october goes in her ooh, in her jammies can't control the camera she's talking to her urn and she's like i don't want you to leave yet <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any of our children to leave. I don't know if we should go through and do all of them, but I think it tells us when it's their, the, the strength isn't high enough. All right, all the kids need to get up for school. Daya was already awake. She's very sad. It's all right. Before I started recording, right when I turned the game on, I got a notification that uh, Daya and Carter's dad died. So that's fine. They'll just move in together when they're old enough. All right, next on our list... Uh, ooh, we got a whole cake. Unbelievable. I can't believe we have a whole cake. Uh, I gotta put it here, though, for some reason, because it doesn't work anywhere else. Put birthday candles on the cake. We also are going to start our garden today. It is uh, spring, or the second day of spring. And I also got October some seeds for a money tree. Not really sure where it went, but uh, there it is. And I can't wait. I'm gonna stick that right there. I really want to see how much moolah we can get out of this. And I'm, and there's not like a whole lot of room to plant stuff. It's not a large greenhouse. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm gonna... This house is awesome and I don't want to... I want to just improve on it and not get rid of it. So I don't know if I'm just gonna turn this whole thing... Is someone sleeping in here? Since when can kids go in the hot tub? Has that always been a thing? It's someone tell me in the comments because I was under the impression the kids couldn't go in the hot tub and I don't have any mods or see or custom content on this file or in the game ever. I don't I don't ever use it. Oh, yeah, but uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to demolish the pool area and build them an underground pool, spa, sauna thing, or or if I'm just going to leave it like this. I don't know yet, but either way, I want a money tree. I want to see how much moolah we can get out of it. Okay, the kids should be all off to school. Kevin's in a terrible mood because he didn't get to pee before going to school, but that's fine. I'm sure they have a bathroom at your school. And let's go ahead and bring Toby down here so he can age up. There we go. I had it running on fast speed because he wouldn't get out of the ball pit. <laughs> there we go. You ready? There's a one. All right. Look at that. That's amazing. I love it. What's this? Randomized traits. That's also new. There was a huge update that came to The Sims. I'm not very good at staying on top of it. There's, you know, there's a new patch every month um, with a lot of things that change and they're always kind of funny to read, but I've just been way behind on it. So yes, let me randomize you. Outgoing. I don't get to randomize this, but that's that's pretty awesome. So let's give him the social social skill. Can't talk because he's outgoing. 
I love it. I am here for it. Alrighty, so this is the new grown-up child-sized Toby. I love his hair. It's all spiked up. And I think he took a lot of influence from his brother Carter, where he's just sharp, man. He's just a really sharp dresser. Tober's got some fashion-forward children, I have to say. And uh, I don't know. I just I just think he's just super cute. Um, just got a gorgeous face, beautiful eyes. Could be on the like I said, could be on the cover of Abercrombie and Fitch Kids or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I mean, I think I might have him go into the stylist career. I think I might have Carter go in there as well. They're just, they're just tip. They're way, <laughs> they're way more stylish than October is. So that's probably my fault. But okay, we're going to jump back into the game and I'll see you at the vet's office with Mr. Marshmallow. There we go. I was gonna say, how long do we have to wait? Looks like Marshmallow has overheated sniffer. Uh, we want the most expensive treatment, even though we really can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then as soon as we're finished, you have a pet already signed in. Well, hurry up then. We've been here a thousand times because Mr. Marshmallow just... No, not to check up. Mr. Marshmallow just can't stay healthy for a minute. He's either aging down or no, aging up or running away or getting sick. He's a mess. Okay. Come on, this is the one. It's gonna work. Oh, that kitty's so cute. I loved playing cats and dogs. I loved when that expansion pack came out. That was super fun being a vet. Come on, it's, it's gotta work this time. They they did a big update, all this new stuff. I saw all the pride clothes that they added when I was um, working on Toby. Yes, this actually might work. It might be fixed. Oh, I think it's fixed. Oh, it works now. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I know we can get it reversed too. So that's the best part of the whole thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe maybe the, the Vandalust will stop now that, now that he's been fixed. Alrighty, the kids are back from school. Grant is already a grade A student, which means we are aging him up today. That's insane. He just aged up and then went with us on vacation. How did you do this? Some kind of genius child, my goodness. And it's Lorna's birthday today. All right, well, as soon as October gets done planting all of this stuff, we are going to age up Grant, age up Lorna, move him out, Grant, that is, and uh, we're gonna go out and get October pregnant right away. Oh, this is the money tree. Oh, I'm so excited. I planted a whole bunch of different stuff. Here's a berry tree, avocado tree. A money fruit failed to germinate. Try planting it on a more open place before planting it. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I'll plant it outside then. Don't even worry about it. Here instead, we can put a banana tree. We'll plant this money tree, I don't know, somewhere. Right about Schna. No, that's a can of soda. <laughs> right about Schna. Oh, poor Mr. Marshmallow, he's crying with the coat on his head. Just leave it on for a little bit, buddy. You got stitches. <laughs> okay, so while we're waiting for October to finish all of the planting, as you can see what she's doing in the background, we'll have Grant go ahead and make a wish right after he takes a selfie of his bulging non-muscles while everyone celebrates. So cute. I love that. Yes. Okay, and we could do randomize again. I just might. I really like it. Gloomy? I really like it. I think from now on, I'm going to randomize traits because I love it when their traits are all wacky. That's like my favorite thing. I do sometimes try and make them make sense, but it's just way more fun when they are totally contradictory. So he's a... It, but it makes sense still. He's a perfectionist. He's a musical music lover, music genius, and he's gloomy. It just all makes sense. And he's a vampire because he's going to be moody anyway. I just love it. Okay, and we're also going to have Grant go up and age up Lorna for us really quickly. Really, as soon as October has done all of this planting and gets pregnant, we need her to just start cranking out paintings like nobody's business. It's ridiculous. I can't believe Aaron's still alive. Oh, that's a new musical. That's different. I never played that music cue before. Oh, so many changes and they're all good. All right. She's gonna be a charmer. Love it. Oh, look at her hair. She's so cute. Oh my god. She's so cute. Okay, th those those trees, and I'm guessing the avocado. Okay, those, they will not germinate. These trees will not germinate here, okay? So just forget it. We'll just plant regular stuff in here. Uh, we need the money tree. That we definitely need. But we'll just plant little stuff here instead. How about here? Is out front better for you, October? How's that working? All right, seems to be fine. Water all of the plants really quickly. We'll get your mood up. We'll move out Mr. Grant, who's just wandering around the house. And then we will send you out and get you knocked up again. All right, so here we go. We have him with his dad. He was a bartender that we hooked up with. Don't remember when, how it happened, but it happened. And uh, so yeah, we're going to move them. Where are they? Right there. They kind of look the same, not quite so much as other kids that we've had. Yes, we are going to move them somewhere. Ooh, Quake Zone party place. 
quake zone. This is nice. We just need something with two bedrooms. Needs a little TLC. Where are there two bedrooms? Oh, I see it. I think we're going to move them into Dutch's old place. Um, it's plenty of room. It's pretty, it's pretty nice and modern. Yeah, and they're both vampires, so I hope the sunlight coming in from the windows in the building won't bother them too much. That's all I can say. <laughs> So yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to check on them really soon. I can't buy it furnished. All right, hang on a second. Let me just cheat for a minute because it's ridiculous that his dad is coming in here with absolutely no money. It's all coming from us. No, no, I want it furnished, damn it. Why can't I have it furnished? This option is currently not available for the current lot. I guess because Dutch's body is there and I can't get to it. Well, that sucks, so never mind that plan. All right, I guess we're moving them to the place with the quake zone. That'll be funny for them. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you guys are going because I'm, I'm done trying to find some place where that's furnished that you, that you know Ugh, it's annoying it's super annoying but i'm sure we'll check on them long before they die especially since they're vampires so i'm not really worried about it whatever Ugh, i'm, so, I'm still mad about not being able to get dutch's body back and by body i mean her urn. all right so here we are at club calico the lounge in brindleton bay i don't think i've ever been here with october i don't know if there's anybody even around to see or hang out with or meet Meat, specifically a man. Oh, there's a fire pit though. That's super nice and it's super pretty here. I like it. <laughs> there is this dude who we had a baby with. Stop talking to him. We don't know him anymore. There's this old guy here and some old guy at the bar. So no, not who I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a couple of old guys. Isn't there anybody else around? October is young, forever young, forever beautiful. Oh, this place is so neat. I like it here. Should move here. <laughs> I'd like to meet someone just a little bit younger. That way we could, um, they could, you know, still, oh, like the celebrity dude here. But he won't talk to us because he's a proper celebrity. Um, you know, just somebody who would be old enough or young enough to still be around when their kid is born would be ideal. Oh no, somebody died. I bet it was Aaron. Yep, I'm calling to let you know that Aaron Collins has passed away. I thought you might want to know. We'll swing by after we're done uh, getting knocked up to pick up his urn. He was Dean's twin brother and Dean died a few days ago, so I figured Aaron was next any time now. Come on, seriously, just old dudes. You guys are super lame. Who's this? Eh, pause. Who are you? I don't know you. You're a young adult. You're perfect. You don't look very happy, but it doesn't matter. We're going to give you a flirty introduction, even if you are here to see the celebrity. All right, we did it from across the room, and I didn't realize it. I had it on three speed because they weren't moving. All right, he's totally into your reindeer sweater because you literally won't stop wearing it October. So let's just sweet talk the crap out of him, give him roses, tell him he's our forever dude, and then let's never ever talk to him again. I don't think there's a doing a bush here. I need to put one down. Definitely never been here because there's no doing a bush, which is so super important as you as everybody who's <laughs> who watches this LP knows. The anything goes party bush. That's the one. No, stop picking up windows. Or can we put it that's like the least conspicuous? Nowhere really. So let's just put it uh, right on the porch. We can't be conspicuous. We need to be all out and bold. This woman is so rude. She's mad, too. Well, why don't you move and you won't have to have October's boobies right in your face. Oh, we're going in for the cursed kiss already? Go for it. Yes. It works so fast. October has identified a new type of fish from... Oh, I guess he talked about fish to her. That's interesting. Yes, and let's try for a baby. This is just this is just in and out. <laughs> Pun intended. Wham bam, thank you, sir. Oh, and you get to do it by this really lovely view of the of the pier or whatever it is. Well, it's not a pier, it's like a harbor. It's nice. I like Brindleton Bay. I like living there in my cat's and dogs LP. But October is, is uh, she's meant to live in Midnight Hollow or whatever it's called. Because when I end the series in a thousand years, it feels like, October will reconnect with her one true love, Caleb, and uh, he'll make her into a vampire and they'll live happily ever after. Her and all of the children she had who managed to also be vampires. Okay, now let's run into the bathroom and take a pregnancy test. Okay, let's run into the girls' bathroom then. Excuse me, October. I don't believe in separating the bathrooms, okay? <laughs> Here in Europe, we have unisex bathrooms and no one thinks it's weird. She's so happy. She was so happy. Did you see her face? She was like, yes, pregnant again. Pregnant forever. It keeps me young, literally. <laughs> I cannot believe that Dean's wife is still alive. This woman will not die. I don't think she's a vampire. I mean, no. I don't think so. 
I think I would have remembered that. I'm just here for my kids' ashes. Oh god, all the ashes are like inside of each other. Let's just move them out of the way, is that all right? Did everybody just die in front of this door? That's so weird. It should be Aaron, right? Yep, let's just take him with us. It's so easy when they just die at home. Maybe I should never make the kids get jobs. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Let's go talk to uh, Dean Jr. here. Let's ask him for a small loan. No, let's tell him that we're pregnant again and uh, ask him not to murder our child. Look, okay, tell me he's not uh, Dean the serial killer 2.0. Tell me he's I not. I do apologize if this part is going to seem like really super short and super random. It was just kind of weird coming back from the vacation and all of this. You just walked oh. through a door, October. That was pretty oh, impressive. Huh. And all of this stuff that we had to do, you know, with Mr. Marshmallow and aging up kids and picking up uh, dead children. You know, it was it was just sort of a mess all the way around. But uh, in the next part, hopefully our garden will be looking a little bit nicer. Things will start getting planted. They have this new system, sheltered fall and spring. I really don't know about the new gardening system. I never messed around with it when I got the Seasons expansion pack. Um, so we'll just have to see how well we can get our gardening skill up, how well we can make things work. I also bought this little crafting table thingy where you can make uh, like flowery arrangements and sell them and the better you get, uh, the more money you get for them. So I thought that's also something I could do for quick cash as well as of course painting and uh, you know, playing the long game writing. I also remembered that you can also do video game tournaments and you can also get into programming and make like apps and stuff and you really need to be a lot better at those things before you start making money but that's also um you know options we, we just need options we just need a consistent flow of cash for multiple directions like it's just like running a drug empire but if you did enjoy please let me know in the comments leave me a like or a dislike and of course you can subscribe if you want to i'll see you for the next part of the sims 4 100 baby challenge bye bye